Okay. Today we are live. Today is Saturday, August 5th, 2017. And we are broadcasting live from Danceville, New York, uh, from the workshop. And um, I have with me... What's happening there? Okay, Jim. And Will out here. And Jim and I and Will are rated students of our favorite guru teacher, Barbara Carlson. And this is Barbara here. And that's Barbara really? here. And that's about it. We take the invitations for the channeling, I guess. If you want to do some blessing, that's you're welcome. I guess Will can, can do a good blessing, right? Yes. Well, will you do a blessing for us this morning? Absolutely. It's my highest bliss. Ia <laughs> Now what the das is here, Sasa Wata Ashini, Hoshawahata, Ia Kanaya Tahar Sawa Atatani he see, Atatahu, Tawa, Tadisi Nahaya, Asahia Tashishu and Nawata Sinihata, E. Azasha Shewayata, Kayatata Sinihata, Tatahu, Atasinihata. Thank you, Great Father, for the love and community that we have here for us today and for all those that are listening and watching for th this is a time of great connection of great beauty and great understanding one with another let us be united in our love and community and in our thought processes about bringing humanity together for greater purposes forever and ever because we know now that the process has been started and that things will move only forward from here on in because the fire cannot be quenched. Barbara, would you like to give us a blessing? Yes. Yep. Oh God. Hello, everybody. Blessings to all of you, to your families, friends, and those your lives will touch and bring light to them and their families. When you have people, you bless them, you treat, teach them, you hand over light, which they again might hand on. And therefore, us light workers are making a big difference in this world. Okay? Amen. Blessings to you. Anybody else? Yeah, switch the places so she can fit in the camera. Atu anasi anasoto ono wa anerieta sasi isasa no nu ani anana awa asasi asasa no nu yadania awana asasa ania anana tua. Let the light shine today and let it bring warmth. Let it bring compassion. Let it stamp out the marks of negativity wherever they are. Let it bring your heart into a fullness that was not there before. And may your light protect you from all the things that bring fear to you. Much love and many blessings. Anybody else? We have heard your words of healing and friendship. We have heard your words that touched our hearts. Although we are very different, 
we are very much the same in spirit. So let us be friends, and perhaps an understanding will grow between us that will bind the galaxy together in a greater way. Any more blessings? All right, I guess we invite uh, who is uh, who, who do we want to channel today? What invitations do we get? Okay, before we do that, I just wanted to say welcome to Barbara. She is our Reiki master teacher for Max, Will, and I. Is she your Reiki master teacher also? Yes. And so she's our Reiki master teacher for all three of us. So, and she is... And John. And John, who is here. Very Barbara, good. Anybody? Barbara, yeah. And Barbara. There are several people here that... Uh, Barbara Carlton has touched. Uh, and now everybody here is attuned by Barbara. Right? Yes, and everybody here is attuned to Reiki One by Barbara at this time. So uh, she's touched everybody's hearts in this room, and she has a special gift for Reiki, and she has a special gift of love that is um, very well respected around the community of Rochester and far beyond. And I just wanted to welcome you here today and say that we love you very much and that you're a very special part of our lives. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if I'm going to cry more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in incidents. It is all an intent of the universe. And it was not me being clever. It just was meant to happen. And I feel honored and humbled that it is so. So bless you, all of you. Thank you for your contribution to all of us. I attuned you all for sure. I was yes. making sure that you got it all for just in case somebody else skipped anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've heard people say that it ramped up their attunements. It, even if they had it before, it, ra it, it, it added something to their attunements that they even had before. So it was a beautiful thing. Thank you. So, who, what beings do you want me to attempt to channel today? Tukur. Yes? Takur. Takur, okay. Fendorian. Fendorian. A spider. A spider, oh my, okay. Huh? A Hathor. A Lyran. An insectoid. An insectoid? What? Assyrian. Assyrian. Okay. Excellent. Anybody out there on the in the front lines there that want to? Yeah. I would. I would like to hear some from Danat Kumara, the one who is being called the Lord of Earth or God of this world. Oh, okay. And who is from God actually? From the from the Creator beings. From the Creator being. Okay, anybody else? If if not, I will go into a little bit of a... Oh, wait, there's a hand over there. An Octurian? Oh, we have a request for almost every species here. So. <laughs> so, uh, there are a lot here, though. There are a lot of species in this room. We have felt their presence many times during this workshop already. So they've been very helpful. Can you try Mikado Sui? Mikao Asui. We actually channeled him yesterday. I am Meshisuma. Meshisuma? He brought similar to Reiki is called Jorei. Okay. What's his name? Meshisuma. Meshisuma. Who brought Jure? Yeah. Okay. I do not know who's here or who's <laughs> going to come, but um, uh, keep your thoughts uh, very pure. And if you have someone you really want to think about them, so they'll come to the come to me first. There are I'm sure they have a number and they're standing in line. So because um, there's more than one uh, one uh, entity here for sure. We felt many spirits. Some people were even woke up at during the night with uh, some of the spirits here. Not that they were being nasty or anything, but they just want to say hello. So. All right. I Thank just you. want to, to think, say maybe if they can kind of everyone speak for a short time and give us some sort of a blessing for the workshop and maybe some guidance for the workshop. 
Oh, so you want like multitude? Uh, multitude just of speakers kind of changing the microphone, like a panel, oh my God. a panel of channel beams or something of that sort. Oh man! So you're going to take the clicker and flip my channels? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If you can, if you can do that, we can rake you during that. So Barbara can give you the energy. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. I, I, they heard what you said, so we'll see what they have to, what what's going to happen. All right. This may be the most unusual uh, webinar that we've ever had. <laughs> it is a possibility, but it has a lot of energy and a lot of love because I have to tell you, this workshop has been. Oh, the people here are truly wonderful, wonderful people, and they have... Oh, what, did you spill the coffee? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a coffee incident here, so... <laughs> We're working on that right at the moment. Okay. Should I put, point the camera down? <laughs> yeah, right. Point the camera down so we can see the camera. No, we're fine. But this has truly been, the people here are truly wonderful. I feel, feel very, like, love toward everyone. Everyone's been super lovely, super loving, and super good to one another, even. So, and you're getting to know each other and learn each other, and we're, we're learning a lot of things here. So it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's the highest concentration of Kukula locally ever. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. So let me do a meditation, and we'll see who comes through first, and how many will come through. And um, I'm sure there will be people that want to ask some questions eventually, so we'll give you that opportunity as well. Oh, Raj. Thank goodness they've all learned to hold the microphone. <laughs> Greetings, I am Takur. Welcome. I want to come and say that this is a, a very big opportunity for me to say hello to everyone here and to tell you what a privilege it is to be among you. I see the energy that is being created here and it is beautiful. I would love to see more things like this around the world. But alas, it is not to be quite yet. But thank you for your time. And thank you for all your energy that you have expended here. And the learning that you have brought to these people. And to one another, you do teach one another many things. So thank you. Much love. Much love. And they said that it would be very short, and so it is. <laughs> Greetings, this is Santia. Hi, Santia. Yeah. I am from the Syrian area, and I have come to give you a blessing on your days of learning and understandings. We have been with you for a long time and we have been, I have been, the ambassador to this world for several years now. Whoever chooses to bring in the Syrian energy through to understand us and to bring up vibrational efforts in your areas. Thank you so much for your understanding. But I would like to give a blessing at this time so that we may show you the energy of our people and the gratitude that we have 
for your efforts. Sonsieta via dot futa o Waho Hotsnasa via Yahuake Kuitsir Tia. Ah, yes. So skin to go on, I put you to put you on to us. I skill your words well. Mut with one, Tai wa. Tai always way I say. The blessing of the angels. We give you the energy of the galaxies because we are here to support what you are doing. For the ascension, for the new steps in rising of your vibration for your entire civilization, we give you that great okay and exception. We now understand that you are a people of light and that even though darkness prevails throughout, you will overcome and that this step will happen and you will be amazed at the change in humanity for the better. I will leave you now, for there are many to say hello and bring their greetings along as well. Thank you, Santi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> We rarely speak, but we are the white dragons of the north. Do not be afraid, for we are not here for confrontational reasons. We are here to add our blessing to those that have given. We are positive beings. And although some may look at dragons as difficult to understand and difficult to realize what our purpose might be, we are here for your support. It is difficult for us to speak this way because there is some limitations in understandings, but we will just tell you that our gift of prayer is forthcoming. Be well and God be with you. Thank you, much love. Thank you. Thank you. We are the native spirits of the land, those that own the land before anyone else, those of us that roamed here before you came along. Before the animals were all slain and before things changed in very many ways, but we still understand where you are and that our hearts can unite through all these ages and that we are still with you in many senses from the earliest times. But let us say this, let us make a treaty let us make an alliance. Let us work together 
with all of our mysticisms and spiritualities and thought processes so that we may rise together and be one peoples, finally, without a separation. Be one peoples without prejudice. To be one peoples without destruction of thought processes or rituals or cultures. Let us combine and celebrate all the differences and not complain or bring them down, but embrace one another for the rich heritage that we have, for each one of you brings with you different DNA from different places, and so it is. We just want to be part of who you are, but separate in the way we celebrate our lives. We love you, and we know now that there is a love that reaches out to us as well. So we are here as an Indian nation, as a combined civilization beyond that which you know as the Indian civilization. For we stretch out across the universe as well. Much love to you and your peoples, for we are enhanced by this gathering, and we enhance the gathering with our presence as we hope. Respect and love. Nahaya waha. Nahaya waha. Greetings, I'm Lakesh. Hey Lakesh! It is good to be here with you today. I think I will be the main speaker. <laughs> there are others that you want to come, but there are some that says, please pass along that we want to give you greetings as well. But there are too many out here for us to ever make it through. So they said, let's combine our efforts and give the best message for today. So I am a blue Pleiadian. Some of you have asked for Pleiadian, so here I am. <laughs> and and they ask for many different species. The Fendorians uh, would like to come as well. The Octorians. Um, there are many that have a great contributions to add. But some of them do not want to come right this second because they don't want to just say hello. They want to give messages. So the, the ones that just wanted to say hello have already come. So now that it's time for some meaningful interaction. Absolutely. Now it is time for me to speak about some things that have been happening. And the Reiki that has been happening. This energy of Reiki that is universal in many different ways. It is celebrated and taught and learned in many different ways, but on earth it's specifically taught in certain ways so that it be, can be handed down so that the principles will not be lost, so that the energy will not be uh, weakened, and so that it may come as strongly to the people as possible. But believe that there is the even greater Reiki to come because beliefs are to be enhanced. You will believe greater, and therefore your Reiki will be greater. The greater you believe in healing, the greater the healing will be. The more miracles you feel in your heart, the greater miracles will present themselves before you. And it is not for you to take credit. Let me repeat that. 
It is not for you to take credit of the miracles. But you are the instrument by which they are given to others. The energy passes through you. Can you take credit for all that energy? I think not. God, although it is not a religion, this Reiki, not in any part of the galaxy or the universe, is it a religion, but it is a spiritual activity where the spirit that you believe in comes through. Your perception of great God comes through and shows himself or herself or him and herself together. Tiakiaka. Yes, there's healing going on even now because some do not feel well. And what time is inappropriate for healing? Hmm. I can't think of one. Is there any questions that you have for me about other things or Reiki itself? Because I did not want to go into a galactic understanding of Reiki quite yet because I know Takur will do that tomorrow or maybe this afternoon. So, but I will go into understanding that it is a definitely positive and powerful means of healing. Zikrata. Any questions? I know that people here have experienced many things. Could, yes? Yes, we had the uh, Reiki one attunement yesterday. Are you able to pick up on the energy in this group from that attunement? The energy lasts for quite a long time. I think they're going to give you a microphone eventually to speak into. That's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey. Yes, um, she asked if uh, we could still feel the energy in the room, if I could still feel the energy in the room, if we all could still feel the energy in the room from yesterday's attunements from Reiki 1, I believe it was. Um, and the answer is yes, because it does not diminish. Healing, the energy may diminish over time, but when it is that powerful, when it is that up front and, and it's doing so much work, it takes quite a while for that energy to dissipate. And so yes, I think some of you still are feeling it today and I do feel it in the room. And it is a wonderful, cleansing feeling. It is a, even though I am here, you see I am one of the few beings that do come in a holographic form so I can feel the things that the body feels. Mm -hmm. Other species cannot do that. So some of you out there might be confused. How can he feel it? Yeah. No, but I can. So I'm the perfect one to be asking these questions or answering these questions because I can feel those things. I can be a part of this interaction because I am really here in a holographic form. But, and all kinds of sensations are here with me. So therefore, do not, do not uh, doubt that I can actually sense that. What other questions do you have? There is other questions in the room. Uh, question we had during the seminar healing, we had a lot of spirits of, our, of animals here. Yes. Could you tell us something about maybe message of those animals? Because we have a lot of heads. Yes. Stuffed animals on the walls around. So many actually fell them. Are there some messages from those animals? There absolutely is some messages from the animals. Um, what they are talking about here is, you cannot see it, but there is many heads of animals mounted around the room and there's some fish and some buffalo and things of that nature that are mounted are around the top of the near the ceiling of the rooms. And at one point during the Reiki yesterday, 
they were able to visualize this animal spirits coming into this room. This was a healing for those animals. They were coming because they were drawn to this healing because there was something in their spirit that needed a healing and the animals were in abundance in spirit here yesterday. This is what the message that they're telling me. And they could actually be, be seen and felt by people. And so this is why they had returned. They were drawn to the healing energy that Reiki supplied in this area. And it was very strong because there was not just one or two people getting an attunement, but there was many. There was at least 17 or 18 people getting attunements and four or five, how many, how many people giving attunements? There were several. There were four people giving attunements, and so they were feeling all that energy, and they, they were drawn to the healing energy, and had to come and get a healing for themselves, because the energy will go out to them as well, because it is intended not to be just for one person or one thing, but it will move out Remember, Reiki energy heals where it needs to heal, it goes where it needs to go. And it needed to go to the spirit of the animals. Perfect. Yes. Other questions? Is there anyone online, perhaps, that has a question? Can you do that? <coughs> you would just have to unmute yourself. Is there anyone there? All right. No one there, so we'll do a question out here in the room. Oh, and then there is one online after this. Greetings, and thank you for speaking to us, Eva. I have a, a question about the possibility of seeing any of you. You mentioned that you have holographic abilities you could show yourself to us. We obviously were not ready the first night when we arrived, but I think by now we are so drowning with love <laughs> that basically we might be ready. And is there any hope for it? There is hope for it. She asked if there's any hope for uh, the group to see a holographic image of an alien here. And there is some hope for that. It is all about your belief systems and uh, about the lack of fear, the acceptance of aliens, the acceptance of another spirit, another kind of uh, face that is not usually welcome in many places. But this is about each and every one of you as an individual. You must all be in alignment, you must understand. It is not for one person. If one person wants to see an alien or a spirit or whatever, it must be a united community effort. It must be agreed by everyone that this won't be frightening or this won't be something that is negative or it, it must be something that you all desire in very much the like, a like kind of way. Otherwise it cannot happen. Do you understand that? It cannot happen because they will not put themselves in a place where they will not be accepted, even if there's one. Thank you for that. Yes, they, they, are, you, they are here to respect you. And if you are all in agreement, then yes, they may appear. But if there's one that cannot handle it, that is present, then it should not happen. There, I do not know the answer to that for sure. She said there are many here that may not be ready. And I'm not sure of that, or I do not know that for sure. But all that I do know is when they do the scan of the room, when, they, when the time comes, if they call on this particular kind of thing, uh, they would have to scan the room and see who, who is feeling what and how and etc. Because they, they know how these things will work. Yes, is there a question? There's one online. Online. Online, question. 
I saw something appear there, but I'm not sure Omron. if there. You wanted to ask. Was questions. it Omron? Yes. Was there a question? I was going to say that Christine had a question, but I have a question myself now. Um, it's about crystals. I know that by the use of crystals and water, you can age less. And if you know how to use it, I don't know if anyone have received this knowledge or teaching, but if you can, is it true? I, I mean, do you practice this? Like, do you, have you used the crystals and the, the power of the water to, to redeem your age and become like a teenager again? Let me put something into perspective for you. You are a human being at this time, and water and crystals will work in a way for you that it would not work for other species. Because other species have other elements and other things that work for them better than waters and crystals. However, for healing, crystals are very, very popular and very powerful. Can you mention some that are very powerful here on Earth? Well, they all are, but I would go for the quartz variety as it amplifies energy, put your intent into it, what you want to use it for, and they can and will work for you. Will it be that you are rejuvenated, rejuvenated forever? I would not count on it because we are here to start the circle of life and to die, and that is how it is for maybe forever, maybe it can be changed, but at the moment, there is a certain vanity in wanting to stay young. Yes. And you will not learn the, what the age can bring if you want to stay young forever. I'm sure it can help you to rejuvenate somewhat, improve your health. Yes. But there is a certain ego and vanity in what you have intended. But yes. look into crystals, email me if you like. Um, it definitely makes a difference. Crystals quartz will amplify. There are so many stones we call them mineral and gemstones. They have an inbuilt ability. And you have to then kind of study what is it, what will help you, what is it your body needs, which stone is it your body needs. Will it help? Yes. Rejuvenate you? Well, if the good Lord wants it, it will happen too. Let me add to that a little bit, can I? Yes, indeed. For humans, the also belief systems come into it as well. So believe, and the water is something that is very much a part of the human body. And so crystals of, with water will help human beings a great deal if you know how to use it. And I know that you do. I am sensing that you have this information already and that you already are using it and you are already feeling some benefit from it. So therefore, yes, pass that on if you wish. That can be a teaching modality. Remember, it will not work for everyone on your planet. And the reason why is because some do not believe that there is energy in crystals and some do not believe that there is energy in pretty much anything. So. You must understand that these things will work for you to a certain extent and in a very positive way with your belief systems. Yes. I would say if you're interested, start studying it. Give me an email, I'll give you some contact details, some books I think you might read, etc. And then we see where we go. Or just come to Rochester and I'll teach you. That is possible too. I, I teach crystal level healing level one and level two, and also just sort of an introduction to crystals. And I wish I could give a certain amount to you people, and I will try. I brought just a few stones. Excellent. Okay. I am going to continue now. If there is another question, I think that one was sufficiently answered. Continue. <laughs> It is something uh, what amazing about this place, original, spiritual, adventurous, what we well, would like to know? The thing is about this place, well, first of all, you have created a vortex here in this room. 
Are you aware of that? Yes. You have created a vortex here. And so that makes it special. But above and beyond that, there is other vortexes in the area. There is one that can be very much felt down by the water. Yes. Um, the water here is, does, it looks sort of murky in things, but actually it's very special. It has a great amount of energy in it. And you will find that the, uh, the, the particular frogs and fish and animals that live in it have grown to extraordinary sizes uh, for their species here, and because the, they're actually a little larger than normal. So that's all right. But so if you don't like really large snakes, then I don't think you should go down there. But um, anyway, they're just around the water, though. But anyway, uh, there are some great vortexes in this area, but the greatest one is in the water that is down there. And the other greatest one is the one that was created yesterday here. Okay. Very well. What other questions are there? I thought there was another. I think I have one more. Can I have a question? Hi. Hello. I'm so happy to be here to presently see you. Good day. Um, thank you. And all that came. But my question is, since um, this, to go back on the on the piece we we're talking about, that having somebody come in to be seen, can we start off gradually, like maybe seeing a Palladian, maybe seeing. Uh, um, well, I. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm then, not sure which species would be the least fearful for you, except for those that look so human that they wouldn't frighten you at all, but <laughs> they're uh, also among you. So there are human, <laughs> alien born humans that look uh, uh, very Car. human. Car would be nice to come. Uh, Tukur looks like a big, well, she is actually quite large. That's she may be a little bit frightening, so, but some people would find her, oh, she's a big kitty cat, but the other ones would say, oh my God, a tiger. So. <laughs> yeah, just gradual, because, you know, not for the shock purpose, but more so for the love purpose behind it. And as that happens, then uh, uh, the communication will. between... Uh, the visualization could be helpful too, so it makes it easier to attune to you as you attune to us. I understand. We will do what we can to make it as gentle on you as possible. Thank you. But it will not be our species first. We are not. We would not be as. Uh, although we, we we are depicted as very funny looking, we are really not that funny looking. But. It is a very good depiction as far as body shape and things of that nature. Lovely. Can I mention something here? You have been attuned to Reiki yesterday, and with it, your intuition will grow, open up more, and with that, you can have the wish to put out what it is you would like to have with this gift. If it is to see aliens, it can become more possible indeed. But you just have to maybe wait and let it develop. Your will shall not be done immediately, but it could be done over the next few days, weeks, months, or even years. And it will be stronger than it would be if you hadn't had Reiki. So patience is one lesson to learn. Yes, it, energy interaction is important when it comes to the next dimensions, if you understand what I am saying. So Reiki is an energy healing uh, format, and it does lead to other things. So it can lead to opening up places in the brain that were once closed, or even opening the third eye a little bit more, because what is happening is you're bringing in information about energy. You're bringing in information about healing modalities. You're bringing in information that is necessary for perhaps your mission, if you are going to be, if healing is part of your mission, or if your mission is healing. Also that uh, this energy flows through you as you're healing others. So it is going to be a part of a regular, on a regular basis, 
something that you're going to be experiencing. So as this energy moves through, now you're not supposed to trap it or capture it, but as it moves through you, it awakens other parts of the brain that are, have been well closed for centuries. You're starting to feel empathy, you're starting to be intuitive, you're starting to have psychic energies, you're starting to, your healing modalities are getting greater. Remember, this species has been in an electromagnetic field for millions of years, or however long this species has been here. I don't know the exact date, I should know. I took intergalactic history, but I sort of forgot that. But um, the thing is, you have been in this electromagnetic field, and that is part of your healing. It's become part of you. You cannot live in something and move in it and uh, evolve in it without it becoming sort of part of you. So this energy that you live in all around you is part of your healing modality. That's why everyone on your planet has it and can use it in different degrees. Now, there are other energies now coming into view to us on your planet. There are microwave energies, there are cellular phone energies and waves and all kinds of uh, lights and different kinds of electro, uh, electronic energies that are not magnetic necessarily. So you're going to integrate them into your next step also. And do, you think it, do you think that telepathy has something to do with integrating other energies into your system? It certainly might have. Can I... Oh, I was just going to mention something. Um, at the time of the Atlantis and the Lemurians, they were very psychic. If they went for a trip, they would send their mind forward to see what they need to take. And they were covered, you know, take water, take food, because you never find it. We have got the ability to be more than we are using, as everybody will know by now. When you're born, you are being taught the human core, um, and everything is kind of more ego-centered because, because it is important. But when you may have heard you might have had lives before, and maybe have lives after, you have a certain amount of information, or a lot of information, that actually um, comes from then, and you have it inside you. You just need to be able to bring it out. The more you let go of your ego and just come from your heart, question everything from your heart, if you have to question it, and things will open for you and knowledge comes out and it comes together and you know things you don't know where it came from. And it doesn't matter. Use it. It's a gift. Yes. We are to come from our heart. It is. It is true that each one of you has your own personal Akashic record of all your lives, and this one as well. Because every second of your lives, past and present and future, if you want to talk about the Chikani and all that, um, if all of your lives are here behind your chakras, all of your lives are here for this life in your subconscious. So you have your own walking Akashic record of everything you've ever done in every life and every second of your, this life as well, because it's all there recorded. Now, of course, the, Akash the real Akashic record out there has everything in it of all those lives as well. But you don't have to go to it to recall your own Akashic record, and that is why it's with you, so that you don't have to uh, go out and sort of bother them to get to your own information. You can, you have access to that when you realize how to get access to that. The pendulum can be a very good tool to get you to answers. Because the pendulum, it comes from your brain, the knowledge that is in you. It comes through little nerve endings into your fingertips. And the answers come through the pendulum. And with Reiki, it is a wonderful tool to use for maybe assessing a person's chakra points. Because when you're in the beginning, you may not feel the energy the same as you're scanning. So the pendulum can give you the answers. So if you remind me, I'll bring out your pendulum when we're healing. 
and I'll show you how to do that. But you may have to remind me. Okay. There are things that have been around for centuries on your planet and that, can, that can help you with your drawing out of psychic energy and the use of all the, uh, the, the tool, the psychic tools that may not be readily available through the actual opening of the mind. But the mind can give you indications of many things that are going on in the world and in your body and in the room and many, many things. So, it is, there are many tools for you to use, and uh, many of you out there, I sense that all of you are aware of at least a few of these tools, but there are many more, even more available to you. Is there any more questions? I see it. Hi. Oh, yes. And uh, Christine had one. Yes. And um, she wanted to know, um, the healing energy from the Eli Eliyaha doesn't seem to be working and she said my arthritis is getting worse and my sugar levels have increased. Do you know why? It could be a matter of the belief system but it could be a matter that uh, there is some kind of interference or it may be that God does not want that to be healed right now for a particular reason. You see there are, there are some things that must happen for lessons to be learned. There are some things that must continue for at least a little while before they are taken care of to let you experience them so that you may be able to help someone else with a similar or same experience. Now do not be too concerned about that because I believe that uh, the energy that they give is very useful. The El Yaha is very useful and have helped many, many people, but there are times when it's just not, not to be used, or at least it's not going to work at a particular time if God doesn't want it to. That's period. That's why we pray, thy will be done and not my will be done. <laughs> thy will be done. So, but anyway, no, don't worry about it. It was Christine, right? Don't worry about yes. that, Christine, because I think that there is a lesson there and there will be some time uh, in the future where that will be relieved. There is another question. Hi, Keshi. It's your friend, Stephanie. Hi! <laughs> yes, she calls me Keshi, my nickname. <laughs> Good to see you again. Yes. You had mentioned the Akashic Records. Yes. And the past lives being behind the chakras. Yes. I, I, I understand what, what's been said about that. I don't understand how that works, but my question is, will Reiki um, help you access that information behind the chakras? It I, I don't can. understand how that works. Uh, the thing is, um, a lot of times people don't believe that they can read their own chakras. And it is a matter of the belief system that you can't access them because they're just not to be viewed. It's like a book that's been sealed forever and you can't open it. But that's not necessarily true. The energies that are about, if it is necessary or if it is, would be helpful to you to access some past life for a particular reason, and you must know it before you access it, actually. Um, at least some people must know it. But um, it can be accessed with your belief system or with the help of someone else that can do readings of that nature. Now, with energies like Reiki, it does help open up other places in the brain, and you may be able to do it within your meditations to start opening up some of those past lives with intention and with meditation working together you might be able to get a glimpse of some of these things that you may need to know for this life. Now, sometimes there are uh, infirmities or diseases or pains that have come from past life existences because of things that have happened beforehand and that keeps going on because A, 
it's not been forgiven by yourself or by others, or it's something that is necessary for you to experience for lessons coming down that you did not learn in the past life, so that it, it reoccurs, so you may learn it in this life. Or there are several different reasons why you may be experiencing things from past lives. But if you want to access that and find out what it was uh, and forgive it, perhaps forgiving something. There are some people that have, you know, they can't breathe right or something of like that because they were, uh, they had some horrible action happen to them in the past. I won't go into what they would be. but. Um, but they are experiencing that past life of, of infirmity over and over again because it's not been forgiven. So you can witness that past life, forgive it, and let it heal or cure, or be cured. Or, it, or you may have not forgiven someone else in a past life, or there may be things of that nature. Can I maybe say something? Uh, one thing is now that you have Reiki, Write down as many things, life experiences you had, which kind of were upsetting. Write on a piece of paper. It said 21 days because we are saying it takes 21 days to align your system after an adjunction. <clears throat> so write down, if you can, 21 things that you feel was some obstacle in your life. Somebody did to you, you did to somebody. If you cannot reach those people, doesn't matter. Write it down. Um, I have done so and so to such and such a person, and I'm sorry about it. You don't have to write it, just inside you. I'm sorry about it. I'm asking for forgiveness, and I am choosing to forgive myself. And then basically, it's like cut. You then roll up that piece of paper, you take it, crumble it up, burn it, and see the smoke up, and with it, that issue. Whatever comes up again and again, you maybe have to redo, rewrite, shortly rethink, don't go too deep into it. Be careful you don't burn a house or anything down as you do this. <laughs> yes. But it makes a difference, it's cutting from it. And can I just mention one more thing, the tool to much of you want to know, to learn, answers you want, it comes through meditation. We ask, but we don't give it time to be given to us. So meditation, if you can learn to meditate by just sitting, you could have a very quiet music in the background, but just train yourself to be still. See a candle flickering. If your mind goes, what am I eat tonight? Just like back to this candle, back to this candle. And the more you do it, the more it will work. And you will wake it up with some answer you didn't have before. It's not necessarily the answer you were seeking, but maybe it's not important right now. Maybe another answer is more important. But answers are given to you, and former life experiences are given to you. I had a life here in this area as an Indian, and it was quite an involved story. We don't have time just now. Maybe sometime if we do, I could tell you. But I used to be extremely scared of snakes and horses. And suddenly a whole story came out why. And then I don't like snakes very much as such, but I shall not faint when I see one. <laughs> Are you sure you want to be Palladian at one time? I don't know. I think I maybe I'll have to look into her that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, yes. Very good information from this young lady. Yes. I have one more. Yes. I have one more follow-up question, if I may. Of course. It has to do with um, healing modalities that you might possibly use at the dimension you're at, if they are indeed necessary. And if uh, sound, frequency, color, yes. are those? Um, what, oh, you absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, the Hathors are here, and they're very much into toning. And they use their toning and their musical sensibilities for medical reasons, and they use it for healing. Everything that is in this universe can be used for different reasons than what you might use it for. And it can be used for positive or negative reasons, and music and color and energies, all these things can be used for healing. Aromas, 
a massage. Many, many, many things can be used for healing. And the more understanding of healing that you have, the greater healer you will be because you will start to use more of these, such as this young lady's using crystals. She's using crystals and Reiki at the same time because they work well together. They work well together and she could probably use, uh, she'll probably also uses color for the chakras. If she does any chakra work, she uses colors to and help. Sound. And sound. Oh yes, whenever they're doing uh, your modalities, usually there's some kind of uh, soft music playing or something that helps calm the spirit, calm the, uh, the thought processes, and that helps with the, uh, the trust factors, and it helps with being able to accept the energy a little better when you're around certain things. Believe it or not, a blanket, a pillow, or something under the knees can help with healing because comfort helps with healing. You must be comfortable to be able to be healed in many ways. If you are uncomfortable, how are you going to accept the energy in a proper way? So therefore, you must be comfortable, you must be at ease, because when you're at ease, that's when medications work the best, that's when energies work the best, that's when all, the, all healing modalities work best, when you're relaxed and in a comfortable state. If you're agitated, if you are uncomfortable, if you are angry, if you have all these negative things happening, it is very hard for any healing to happen. Do you agree with that? Very much so. Very good. If I could just mention something which maybe you don't all didn't hear. Your body has got organs and each part of each organ, each part has got its own frequency. And if that comes out of balance, you will start feeling unwell, sickness can set in. So one way of putting it right could be by putting the frequencies back. The sound, for example, has a frequency. Your octave has, your, your scale has a frequency, C, D, E, etc. Fitting in totally with your chakras. We've got tuning forks, which is where is a connection with sounds that were lost because the church had taken them over, mm -hmm. and then they were lacking in our um, environment. And we have become, it said, more warmongering because of it. And we choose tuning forks. Hemisync has a lot of tapes or CDs which are specific for cancer, that type of cancer, relaxation, etc. Oh, the subliminal things. Lots and lots of stuff out there. Oh, I understand. Can, yes. Email me. I can maybe send you some information by email that you could look up further then. Well, I would have never thought to mention subliminal information because I wasn't sure that that was highly used in this culture of civilization on, on planet Earth, but there is some uh, there is uh, subliminal information that can be used for healing. And so that is a very good thing to bring up. Very much so, yes. Uh -huh. It's been lagging and now it's been back. Yes, it, uh, they put the subliminal information into the music that tells you to be calm, to be healed, to your energy fields to be uh, uh, straightened out and put back in order and things of that nature. So, yes. It is a beautiful thing. Yeah, can I just mention one thing I do use for people that have cancer. There is a cancer pack from Hemisync. It is a CD which if you have radiation or chemo, helps you to come back and recover. Um, one for sleeping and one for meditating. And together, it really can make a difference to people's lives because they haven't got much to do quite often to hear it again and again or come home from your chemo and put on that relaxation tape, listen to those sounds, makes a difference. The people that be healed, and I think it's a combination of Reiki and the extras. So I would say there's much for you still to learn, but you'll get there. Excellent. Thank you. Just one last thing. I have a gift of endearment for you. 
Yeah. Ah, thank you. I believe that is that is a, a very positive gift. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And now I will, if there's someone else that wants to speak, perhaps I should let them through unless there's more questions about this. But I think that we have spoken of quite a bit about it, and it, I think there is a great deal of understanding at this point. Are there more questions about Reiki? Galact Let me say something about galactic Reiki before I leave. Uh, there is a Reiki in the galaxy. Remember, humans have a certain uh, Reiki because it fits this dimension, it fits this uh, uh, what is it? Planet? Well, it fits the planet, but it fits this energy. The energy flows with this kind of uh, energy modality. So, there is galactic Reiki, there is some that will fit into the human realm, and that's what you will be taught later. But, what I wanted to say, there's many, many kinds of Reiki out in the galaxy, and it's not called Reiki, of course, because that, would, that is a word from your cultures, but it is used on every different planet that there is. But it is not necessarily anywhere near the same as yours, because some are silicone-based, you are a carbon-based being, some are silicone-based, some are uh, hydrogen-based beings. There are other beings that they have many different origins, and so they have many different modalities. But let me tell you one that is always, it seems to be effective in almost every single culture and planet, and that is the Chokure spiral kind of energy, because spirals create the vortexes. And the vortexes are healthy to almost every species. And so when you're using your spirals, you're getting a lot of healing because they're building a positive motion into the body or into the spirit or into the emotions. And this is a positive thing for many species. And so you will be learning about spirals this afternoon. So great. Down and over and over. Yes. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I wasn't actually making it. Okay. <laughs> I was. It's very much obvious. Yes, but the spirals go both ways in the universe. I so, so you know, it. It. I wasn't really given an 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 example. <laughs> I was just saying spirals in general. So. Um, it is that the spiral of the choker ray does go a different direction than my hand was moving, but that is all right. There is a reason for it to move that way on this planet. So I just wanted to give you a slight introduction to what to occur we'll be talking about later, because it is very important that you find these actions and understand that they are universal, some of them. Anything else? No. Can we mention something about the symbols? I cannot give you the symbols in lesson one, but Reiki 2 has symbols, which is increasing the energy, directing the energy for a specific purpose. You find them online. It will not work for you unless you are tuned to it. The problem by being too keen and going online and checking it out is you will not know how to draw it. You have to draw it in the way it was intended to create, the energy it is intended to create. If you do it in any different fashion, you may not create the right energy. It is a kind of... It is a picture. You can't, let's say a box. You may draw a box a certain fashion, but that Reiki symbol, that box you draw in a specific fashion, or it will not achieve what you are meant to achieve by it. So be patient. Maybe it is the lesson to learn to be patient. And you can come forward to Reiki 2 
as soon as you really would like because you already are advanced. Normally it is like wait a few weeks, wait maybe a 21 days to, to have it. But patience is a wonderful thing and some people are better off for learning it. <laughs> Will to no, no, don't energy work. <laughs> you could have fooled me. <laughs> ah, very, very good. <laughs> All right, I do not know what time it is or how much time you have left. We have another 30 minutes. Very good. Then I will let someone else come in and talk for 30 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. It was wonderful to be here with you, and I hope that uh, this kind of forum that we set up, that I set up with this young lady actually, <laughs> has been helpful to you. I yes. am the age I am. <laughs> Excellent. Young quite a few times. <laughs> Excellent. I will talk to you all at another time in, in this reality. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings, Blessings to you. Represent the Vendorian Council. There are many Vendorian Councils, but this one is the one in left A B space. I'm sure that some of you will find it, but our council would like to speak to you about coming events. We realize that there have been many different channels on this planet, as you call them, that have been giving information about coming events. Please take them with some sincerity because there will be something that has to come. We do not want to state the beginnings or endings of these things, but and we want to not be negative about them because you, the people of the light worker regime, will be somewhat protected because you must do your journeys. And so those journeys may take you through some hazardous areas, but it should not harm you like it might harm those that are not prepared. But, we are sending our energy and prayers to this planet, as well as many other species. It is a time of great change, as you know, and it's been spoken of many times. But, repetition is necessary because it has been forgotten easily by many. They say, We've heard of this many times, and yet nothing happens. So, we will let you know something will happen, and it will be not far off. So that is all. Just prepare yourself for change. And you see it all around you. The weather on your planet has gone through some interesting changes and will continue to change. Your governments have gone through some interesting changes and will continue to change. Your monetary systems have gone through some changes. You may not be aware of them all, but they continue to change. They will all come to some conclusion at some point. It is a necessity 
for things cannot move forward this way with any kind of control or manageability. So it must come to a place where things will change in a drastic and more necessary way. Change can be painful, but also good. So do not look at it in a negative way, but try to flow along with it as much as you can. It will change the status of some people on the planet, but that is a necessity as well. And you will understand that when it happens. Because the future will record the changes as being positive and not as being negative. Do you understand? We love you and I have prayers for you and are sending energy to you. We understand this is inevitable but necessary. We understand that it is highly unwanted by many. But that is not your choice. It is the choice of in an inevitability, basically. It must change and it will change. It must change and it will change. I know that I am looking at many very loving hearts and souls. There has been changes even within the last few days here. There has been some rising of energy, some understandings that were not there before, some light shed on things within yourself that needed light shed on. We thank you for letting that happen because it is your free will to understand that it can happen and will happen. That is all I really have to say. If there are any questions, I may answer just a few. I see that there might be. I have a practical question. Many of us, a few of us, uh, have a wish to get from your species? Is that possible? Is that the right time to request? Fendorian infusions can be given, but not through the Fendorian Council. That must go through the alliance called Grukpiknir. Okay, thank you. I have a question. Yes. You, you were mentioned, I don't know, chain regarding governments? Yes. Uh, I know that I am interacting with them in astral. So I have been feeling a lot of changes in my body as well. I don't know if that is connected to my astral body. Have there been any discussions in astral between, between me or others with the governments to bring changes? Um, Many yeah. of your people are concerned about the governments and the way that things are now. Many of you have gone into astral to take care of this because you know no other way to do it. So that is the way that you are handling it at this time. Yes, you are making changes also in your body because there are much fourth dimensional energy portals open here on this planet and you will slowly change in many ways but not drastically and not immediately. It will be a drastic change at the end of many, many years for you, but at this moment you are just going to have gradual changes in your body, nothing severe. Another question. Another question. Thank you so much for answering questions. I'm so happy about that. Um, as I was told, I am one of you, and that makes me very happy. I'm not as even in 10% dignified as you are, but I'm grateful for, for being here. But I have a question to you. I seem to be really loving planet Earth, so I understand that my mission is to bring love here. and. Uh, 
and just just assist the ascension. But at the same time, I chose on some level to put myself through all kinds of not pleasant life experiences. Was that part of my mission or did I screw up? No, you are learning to be resilient. You are learning that the future will be um, perhaps easier because the past was more difficult. But do not be so focused on the events but that the mission must move forward and that you are holding light for it. You are a light holder and that is a mission in itself, but there are other things that you must do. And at this point, you may have come through many things, but it is to teach you that the fear that you had was not necessary. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there any other questions? I have one. Yes. Hi, it's Liney. Greetings. Hi there. Um, yeah, I was interested to find out um, a bit more or anything about the, um, the Lionsgate portal that opens soon. Um, yes. Because I've seen a lot about it online recently and also um, I was driving along the road the other day and I see a, a big sign with the word Lionsgate on and I thought that was quite sort of synchronistic. Um, I was just wondering if there's um, anything in it for me personally and everybody else. There will be some personal connection with you and that is meant to be. And you are aware of it for particular reasons. I cannot tell you all the things that uh, are to be known you will have to learn them on your own from experience and from the information that is coming to you. But I am here to say, yes, that is a true existence. The lion's gate will open. Is that, a pro is that an appropriate answer for your question? Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, I, I was just wondering um, uh, for, for everyone else as well. Um, what, Never, what, what would it? Um, or what can we do to um, use that energy? It will be apparent that the energy you will feel it and be able to use it. You will bring it into your system quite easily. Those with fourth dimensional energies will know how to use it and bring it in quite easily. It will be nothing of a challenge for you. Thank you. You are welcome. If that is all, I will conclude my stay. We wish you all the best, and we know that your missions will go as forward as you let them. Let them go to their truest end, for in that way, the truest positivity will be given to the world. Thank you. Thank you. We have 15 more minutes. We can invite another speaker if you like. just to greet you. My name is Spiracos. Wow. And I am here just to say that I have been watching your people
for a long time. I am thankful that I can be with you. And I am thankful that my mission has lasted as long as it has. For it means some very personal and special things to me. I am some being that may not be pleasant to look at, or some. But I am here to be friends, and my people are making ambassadors and contacts. I see there is one here, also from the Elias Shondai Zenmi, which I am part of. We are becoming a little better known as the, a more friendly reptilian species. And we would like to honor humanity in many ways. One of our missions in the near future is to take our ambassador to our planet. But your governments will not allow that, at least not yet. But we're praying for that time when we can take someone from your planet to our place and let them see our civilization, the way that we live, interact, love, and are kind to one another. The way that we handle civilization and bring that information back with your ambassador to our place and have him or her tell your world how they were treated, what they saw, how they felt. We would like that personal interaction with your people. We know that your first contact has not yet come. But why can we not be friends even before that time? Why can other civilizations not be friends even before that time? Your governments are selfish and crude. I'm sorry, those are the only words that fit. So true. But we would like to break down their rigidity toward those around them. We are part of a galaxy that is united. Why can they not be part? They are aware of us. They are aware of how to become part of the galaxy. How to socialize in a way that would be acceptable. They know the protocols. They've been taught all the protocols. They have interacted with many species, including ours, and including negative species as well. But yet, they remain separated. Is it a prejudice, we wonder? Or is it just that they do not want to be overshadowed by other existences that may be greater than their own? Exactly. <laughs> but that is not a real concern if they would listen to what we have to say. And our actions tell them that we are not here for that kind of interaction. We have not invaded. We have not been unkind. We have listened 
carefully. We have not disobeyed their intricate rules, but yet they have disobeyed any rule that we would have made because they do not feel or respect those that are not like themselves. At least not all of them do. There are some that would have us and have all the others. It is not that all are ignorant and I do not like that word, but it is not all that are like that. But some that are very powerful and are in very high places that will not negotiate. I plead with them now to understand that love can be interspecies. And I'm not talking about hybridization at this point, but the hand of friendship can be held with great dignity by all those on your planet and in space. Of course, the heart must give in, but the brain will not allow it in some cases, because you must understand there are many in government positions that do not ever use the heart any longer. They do not use the heart any longer. And in order for us to make contact, the heart must be engaged. Pure intellect and thought process is not enough. It will not break the barrier because the thoughts are born of fear. Thoughts are born of selfishness and greed and they are not those of kindness. Because the heart is where kindness lives. And love lives in the heart. Goodness lives in the heart. And when the heart is shut off, it is hard for them to make heart-based decisions. Is there someone that wants to speak? No problem. Barbara. 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 I just wanted to say thank you, Sparacus, for coming through. A message to everybody. And I just want to say how much I love you. And I was there, but I am very happy to be part of your life. You are her one. So I'm saying thank you. I would kind of say I have a slight solution for some of the problems. If we could give Reiki, get those that I power accept Reiki, otherwise we cannot become empowered. And they would make a difference because they will change the same as they're doing now when they have Reiki, when they understand Reiki and start calling, thinking about their karma. But how to do that, I don't know. Should yes. it become compulsory for every politician, lawyer, doctor, insurance company and bank? <laughs> it is true <laughs> that a different energy is necessary for them to break through. Yeah. But for them to accept anything other than what they have at the moment, which is power and money, greed, and the ability to control. That is what they most want. To accept anything else. If we, uh, yes? If we 
we are all um, direct um, prayers and energy to them opening their hearts as a group with this assist, with this help? It always helps when that kind of energy is sent. But you must understand that many of these people do not even have belief systems that would support that. So getting through is difficult. People do that every day. They pray for the governments. They pray for the leaders. They pray for all things. And one day that will win out. But we need more people to do so. We need more sincerity in the people that really want and understand what is happening. Many people just turn a blind eye and don't really care what is happening because they don't feel affected by it that much. I've seen that on, especially in the larger nations where they do not feel significant. They feel insignificant and therefore they do not care. Smaller countries and smaller civilizations feel a little bit more empowered and feel that they have more ability to change what is there. But those in large places such as Russia, the United States, China, Japan, and India, there are so many, they feel insignificant. I have said what I need to say. Is there any other comments before I go? Hi there. Hello. First time meeting you and I thank you for coming and having the bravery to say what you say. I know that you work as a collective in your group. Yes. And as you send the prayers and visions back to the earth, hold that vision for us. And as the regular people right now, as the ones who have to start and hold the place within your heart for us, and the government will understand. They will have to understand because the people who are greater than them is going to lead the way. It isn't them, it is us now. And if I there ask was you to work a, with us. If there was a large enough population that felt that way and gave that consideration to them, they would have to listen but it would be still a very hard fought battle for them to change. Look at the people now. Those that do have great opinions are being ignored. Those that are fighting against what certain government officials are doing are being ignored because the particular ones that have the power do not like what they have to say. I will go now. I'd write a blessing for the exit and then we do more blessings. Of course. Blessings are always appropriate for every situation. And I will give one. Thank you. Not that I am very good at that kind of thing. I usually do that in private. It is not for our people usually to speak publicly with prayers and admonitions. But in this case, I will make an exception. Oh, great one. I am but a feeble being, but I have words of prayer for this peoples. Be with them and help them to understand the challenges that are before them. Help them to know in a better and deeper way who they are and how much power they have. The governments here on this world have a blindness in certain areas and need to find their vision. 
and their compassion that is true and not out of political guidance. True compassion would speak a different language than what we hear. I pray for mercy on them, for they will have to, one day, apologize for their actions to someone. I want to thank you for this opportunity to speak to hearts that are open and minds that can think clearly and not be prejudiced by darkness at this time. My heart is open as well. And I feel a rare emotion coming to it. I love for those that listen and comprehend. Forgive me for babbling, but I do love the Great One. Help me to be a better servant. May the great energies that God provides come to each of you in your own special ways so that you may know that he is with you and that your mission is pure and true. Guide us and direct us, you say, and light the path for me so that I might find it is what it is that is at the end. Stay in your heart, everything else is crap. The kiss method. Anyone else? Duh.
this is the time to rise up and not be frightened, but be creative and create courageous. Love be with you all. Amen. And so it is. Anyone else? Anyone there, there in the screen? Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Ellie, don't worry, be happy. Ellie, are you there? All love for our Hokolo friends in the webinar. We love you and miss you. So, Thank you, we Ellie. see you on the web. Can you speak a language? Yes. Go ahead. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for being here. I hope you got something out of it. It felt really very powerful oh, there at the end. Yeah, so I uh, love you very much. Thank you, Barbara. It's been an honor to be here. I really enjoyed it, and I hope that much good will come out of it as everybody opens and knows more, etc. There's maybe one thing I would like to say don't worry about not having enough power. Be worried that you may have too much power because you can do harm with it. Come from your heart before you make your choices and decisions. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank